Hey folks, I'm filming this video far in the future where everyone can get together for a six player board game no problem, but some people are still having trouble getting started in Dune. So I'm sending this video back in time so that when you get to when I am, this beautiful eventual timeline when there's certainly nothing else going wrong, that you will know what you're doing, or at least you'll have an idea. So here are my top five beginner strategy tips for Dune. So one of the first things you're going to notice is just how different each faction is from each other. In fact, your strategy from game to game is going to change just based on that one variable. Each faction is strong in some sense and weak in another, and the faction screen that you get actually has some pretty good tips on identifying those. So I really recommend you take this in. And then try to figure out in what way are you going to use your advantage uh, to be most beneficial for you. For example, if you're playing as the Harkonnen, it's okay to posture a little bit, uh, even if you don't quite have the confidence, because other people are going to be scared to fight you. So go ahead, try to take up a little bit more territory. There's a good chance you can win in a fight, or at least you can make them think you will. So sure, your faction will change your play style, but also a lot of what this game comes down to is the people that you're playing with. Now this can refer to how likely they are to stab you in the back, but I'm also talking about how aggressive or cautious they are as a player. See, Dune often comes down to these really big battles with heavy casualties on at least one side. So knowing when your opponent feels confident enough to strike is gonna give you a big leg up in preparing for the attack. There's this thing that's happened in every game of Dune I've played so far, and it goes like this. Someone strikes a little too hard, a little too early, they lose a couple of key fights, and then they are flat broke for several turns. You don't want that to be you. Now, you are occasionally gonna have to make big plays if you want to win, sure, but losing a lot of forces early on can be devastating. So try not to get goaded into a big fight before you're ready. And this is especially true for Atreides, Harkonnen, and Bene Gesserit, because those factions have a fair bit of a harder time recovering after a loss. One way to avoid getting effectively removed from the game is to get a good cash flow going. Again, this is gonna be easier for some factions than others, and some factions, it just isn't as necessary, but having money is never a bad thing. If you don't have any faction-related income, your two options for getting money are picking up spice off the board or killing leaders in battle. Figure out which one's gonna be easier for you and try to capitalize on that early so that you have a bit of a stockpile for when times get tough. Most games of Dune will have players allying with each other at some point, so if you're gonna do that, you wanna be smart about it. Now this can be based on your assessment of faction compatibility. Um, there's definitely arguments to be made for that. I'm not gonna get into it because I think it's a little too much to think about for your first game. What I would suggest is taking a look at the board state. If you and a potential ally both firmly hold two or maybe even three strongholds, that's a great start. Uh, if one of you can help out militarily and the other one can help out economically, that's another great reason to join forces. But be wary of an alliance where you think that you might be putting in a lot of effort and resources and you're not going to get much out of it in return. If no one at the board, if no one at the table, rather, is offering anything particularly exciting, don't feel like you have to ally at all just because everyone else is. No, if you're going to ally with someone, you want someone who can either build up your strengths or shore up your weaknesses. And if you can do both, hey, even better. And those are my top five tips for getting started in Dune. Now, again, I filmed this video way in the future when all this pandemic nonsense is long behind us. But for all of you people who are still stuck in the past, stay safe, play games if you can, and don't worry. Soon enough, this is all going to be over. And the only thing you'll have to worry about is the ravenous pack of gene-spliced hyenas that hover above us at all times. Just waiting to strike. Bye.